What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player of the week review. So this is the worldwide player of the week, May 18, um, which is today, the Thursday, which is today. And look, lads, there's a lot of I always keep saying this in the player of the weeks, right? A lot of these cards are not aimed towards people that have been playing the game for a long time. They're aimed at it as an entry point for people that, you know, download the game today or, you know, last week and are struggling to build a squad, you know, struggling to play the game that often. Um, and just literally casual about the game. Now, there is still some players in here that I think can be in, like, I won't say end game squads um, as we go through them, but there's also a lot of filler as well that if you have got, you know, a, a fairly decent squad or you've been playing the squad for a while, they're not really going to, they're not really going to change things up for you. I think more often than not, these players are kind of just, you know, you're doing your free spin. If anybody is new to it, you can get a free spin at this player of the week. If you want to stay completely free to play, you can get a free spin by doing this event. So you go into Dream Team, you go into events, and then this event here, it's usually the first one or the second one, you will see that you get a free chance deal. All you have to do is to rack up points, right? So when you enter into this, you will see that the rewards give you a certain amount of points, points per victory, and it says rewards. Next reward in 1,000 points, main reward in 3,000 points. You can change the difficulty. The higher the difficulty, either you play the matches or the AI plays the matches, which is the same. You're just kind of like the manager. The more points you get. And the more points you can do this, you can literally do this on, on the lowest difficulty um, and play as many games as you want until you get the main reward. There's no time limit on this apart from the time limit on the event, which ends in seven days. So you can get a free player of the week spin on that. And I do recommend G to do that, even if you don't end up using the players. You know, I always do it as well, just to make sure um, that you can you can get a free spin. But anyway, moving on to the actual review of the players. I'm not going to spend too much time on these players, because obviously we know that the picks of them are these three boys here, right? Eze, Lewandowski, and Gnabry. So I would also say that this guy, Bena, is quite decent, and Doku is quite decent as well. Ganzo's a bit of a throwback. But the rest of the players, I mean, any of the top here, Bremer is quite decent um, as well. We'll focus on him. These are maxed out versions of the cards. So you don't need to train them up. We've got a pretty decent defensive goalkeeper in here. He's got low punt, high punt. He's got standard form. He's on a rating. Again, if you spin him, I, I reckon you'll probably be able to get a, a better goalkeeper straight off the rip. Even though he's not bad, he's kind of short for a goalkeeper, especially because he doesn't have, you know, massively high reflexes over 90. I would always try to get reflexes over 90, but that's just me. We also have this guy, which is a center back, Coates or Cotes. This guy used to play for uh, Liverpool, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he is a bit of a beast. He's a destroyer. He's got interception. He's got blocker. He's also got unwavering form, as you see there. But his defensive stats just aren't good enough as a destroyer. He's not aggressive enough as a destroyer. And his acceleration aren't really going to... It isn't going to kind of overcompensate for this card. Especially when you can buy a player for 50,000 GP, train him up with maybe seven or eight games played, and you will have a better center back than him. So that's what I'm saying about kind of balancing the players, right? We also have these two guys here. Estupinan, uh, Estupinan and um, I, I used to know how to pronounce this guy's name, but I forget, lads. Um, so, yeah, this guy is a left back here. Um, I think it's Estupinan. Is that right? Estupinan, I think. Anyway, but anyway, this guy is a left back. He's a fairly decent player. He's got interception and double touch, as well as first time shot and fighting spirit. He's got standard form, but he's on A rating. Again, you have the same issues with this guy. He doesn't have high enough defense and he doesn't have high enough anything else really, especially dribbling and tight possession for a left back or a full back, right? There's better players out there than him. We've also got Ganzo. I mean, you know, we know how good Ganzo was before. He's obviously tipping on a little bit now in age. He was a bit of a beast before um, and he's got excellent player skills, but there's a lot of these classic number 10 lads. There's a lot of these players. I would even say that the, Bru the Bruno Fernandes that they've given for free with the free login bonus is a better option to have an AMF because he is a whole player, right? Classic number 10 is a little bit harder to play. Um, we've also got Igor, and this guy is a Roman flank right midfielder, very average player. Yes, he's got good balance and he's our good speed and acceleration and dribbling, but I mean, these guys are a dime a dozen, even though he can play left wing and right mid, which is quite uh, unique. Um, we've also got uh, this guy, Alex Bena. Um, he's on A form as well as the rest of them. One touch pass, standard form, true passing, outside curler. Again, like very standard cards if you've been playing the game for a while, in my opinion, right? Good acceleration as a whole player. 89 acceleration. 
with 90 dribbling is quite decent and 85 low pass. So he's kind of like um, more in line with kind of like those meta type of hole players, right? Um, and kind of like the epics, right? Now, we've also got a couple here that I want to talk about, okay? So we've got Eze, or as I call him, Easy Easy. Um, this guy is a monster, right? He's got 93 dribbling, 90 type possession, 89 acceleration, and then the rest of the player skills that you have here with unwavering form are really, really nice. Double touch, flip flap, Marseille turn, a first time shot. He doesn't have one touch pass, but I would be playing him on the wing lens and his rating will shoot up even higher because of that balance, acceleration, dribbling and type possession. And the fact as well that he's got 79 finishing with 82 low pass. He's the most complete, one of the most complete hole players that you can have either as an AMF or as, as a left midfielder. That's kind of where I would play him um, and he would be beastly. We've also got the same on the right flank. So we've got Doku or Doku. Um, this guy is uh, Count Doku. And he is very, very, very good as well. Similar to Eze, uh, 90 dribbling, 93 speed, 90 acceleration, high balance. Doesn't have as good passing or shooting. He's more of a traditional winger. So I would be playing him right wing, no doubt, um, with all the skills that he has there as well. He actually has a few more player-driven uh, skills or player dribble skills, I should say. So a very good choice as well. Especially if you get the, any, of the, any of those two boys, Eze or Doku, uh, Count Doku, as your main kind of strike, main kind of wingers slash uh, hole players. Um... I think you're onto a good one when you're starting your squad, right? We also have Gnabry here as well on A form. He actually doesn't have unwavering form, which is a bit of a pity, but he's got excellent player skills. He doesn't have double touch, but he's got one touch pass, cut behind and turn, chop turn, soul control. I'm going to be doing a video on all of these skills. A lot of people keep asking me. But again, you've got your acceleration, your balance, you've got your dribbling, all in the high 80s. And then obviously you will get that boost to the player form arrows if you've got your player form arrow up, which you should have on these players. You've got your low pass and finishing quite good as well. And just kind of a, a very decent winger to have. He's down as a center forward, but I would definitely be playing him as a right winger, even though you lose that gold poacher play style, okay? And then last but not least, we do have the two picks of him. Bremer, a very, very strong tackling center back. This guy is a beast, lads. I've come up against him a few times. He's his standard card. He's got a wavering form, which is always nice. 73 acceleration with 91 physical contact, 79 stamina with 77 speed. And then he's also got really good defensive skills. Tackling and aggression, 89 and 87. And if you manually defend with him a lot, he will be a monster for you. And then, of course, we've got the man of the moment after fresh from after winning with Barcelona, Lewandowski, one of the best finishers in the game, one of the best strikers in the game. Biggest problem with Lewandowski, lads, is the fact that he is a very different center forward that you might be used to playing with. If you're building a squad, if you were starting from scratch and these player of the weeks are kind of something that you're going to spin for and you get Lewandowski in your free one, don't discount him for just a smaller kind of mobile center forward. I'd still think that you should learn the mechanics of the game with two center forwards, a two-pronged attack. Have one tall, um, you know, kind of tall target man such as Lewandowski or Benzema, somebody to center your attacks to that when you pass the ball to him that it sticks to them and it sticks to him in the air as well that you're able to kind of knock on, knock down um, and then have one fast, versatile, mobile center forward like Mbappe or Lautaro Martinez or somebody like that. Uh, Daka from Leicester is a good option as well or somebody like that. Um, there is lots of options there. But the thing is with Lewandowski, I mean, he is just turn and shoot when you get the ball out of his feet. He doesn't have pace. He doesn't have dribbling, but he does have 93 finishing. 93 offensive awareness with goal poacher is insane. It's going to make him make loads of runs with the AI. And then jumping and heading is going to be good as well. So yeah, with the way that the pace is balancing the game at the moment now, um, he will be obviously slower than the likes of Mbappers, but you will still be able to make him work in your uh, in your squad. So that is it for the player of the week, lads. Let me know what your thoughts are. Obviously as well with Lewandowski, he has a unique player skill, which is one touch pass. Eze has first time shot. And then you've got a couple of other players there as well that will have unique uh, cards, such as Gnabry being a center forward. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. And I hope to see you later on in the live stream. Peace.